There's three kinds of money today that you guys got to be aware of. One is God's money, and God's money is gold and silver. So this is silver, yeah. and this is gold. The reason I brought it is most people don't know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then there's government money, which is fiat currency, which is the dollar, the yen, the peso, the euro, the yuan. Yeah. Fake. And everybody's working hard for it. It's like eating fake food or mm -hmm. drinking fake water. That's why people are getting sick financially, because they're working for fake money. Then there's fake assets, which is another part of the, the fake generation series. But the reason I brought this here is most people haven't seen it. This here is real silver, plata. That's what it looks like. And so in 1972, and this here is gold, this is God's money. This is what God's money looks like. Yeah. The reason I call it God's money is you can't fake it. You know, you can fake it with a fake ETF, like a gold ETF or mm -hmm. a silver, which I don't touch because it smells as bad as the guys that printed that crap. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. But this is real money. So you look at this here. When I first started buying that, that was $1.40. Today, that's $16. And this here is auto, gold. And the reason we brought it in is most people haven't seen or touched. This is mm -hmm. real. This is God's money. Yeah. Why did I say it's God's money? Because it was here when the earth was created. Yeah. And it'll be here when we're all dead and gone. When you're saving those fake dollars, this will still be here. Yeah. Or those fake ETFs or those fake stocks. So this here is called the green box. There's 500 of these little tubes like this. Wow. 500 coins in here. And this is one, which is worth more. This is worth more than all that. Yeah. Now, the reason I say this is because for your generation, this could be the biggest opportunity you'll ever see. I'm not making any commissions on this stuff. <laughs> yeah. If you look at what happened with the fake central bank, see the purpose of the central bank or the Fed, they pump out fake money. Mm -hmm. The purpose of central banks like the Fed is to protect the banks, yeah. not you. They're a criminal operation as far as I'm concerned. You're gonna find that most of my talks is about the Fed. So I would recommend you guys buy this stuff. Yeah. Don't save money, don't save government money, because they're corrupt as hell as you know. Yeah. Save God's money. This corona crisis as I call it, you know, it's a smokescreen for something that's been going on for years. You know, when I was your age, I was in Vietnam. I was flying for the Marine Corps. When my rich dad sent me a letter saying, watch out, the world's going to change. And the world changed because President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard on August 15th, 1971. But back then in the 70s, being on an aircraft carrier, I didn't get that letter for like six months. That's how long it took to get to me. You know, now you guys go ding, ding, and you're there. I mean, the world is really no world at all. But he warned me that the world would change, and I didn't really understand it at the time. But that's when my curiosity about gold and money and all this really changed. So today, when I look at the corona crisis, but more the financial crisis, it's really, really horrifying because the financial crisis started back in 1971. And the reason I'm a rich man today is because, you know, I knew something was wrong. I, I didn't know until 72. I flew behind enemy lines to go buy some gold and I, I didn't know what gold was. It's illegal for Americans to own gold in 1972. And I thought that was really strange. So my life brought me up to this moment. So I'm very happy to be talking to you because the Corona crisis, while serious, the biggest crisis is the financial crisis. And your generation, the millennials, have been screwed. I mean, big time. If you understand how money is created, money is credit and credit, debt, and taxes. That's what money really is. But they don't teach you that in school. So today, the reason the world economy is crashing goes all the way back to 71. But what happened in 71, they could just make fake money and they can keep printing fake money. This is the US dollar. The US can keep printing fake money for a number of years yet. The only way they could keep the economy expanding, they had to find people stupid enough to get into debt. When I say because the dollar is dying, I'm just not BSing you. Yeah, I am a student of it. It goes all the way back to the original, not the original, but the book I read, well, read here is called The Grudge of Giants. Grudge, gross, universal cash. So that's how I know the dollar is dying. The stock market is way high and gold is high. And the reason is, is because they're ripping us off. They're printing so much money to keep the stock market high so mom and pop, pop stupid person who has a 401k or a pension, they go, oh, I don't have to worry. I got a pension. The stock market is up. 
And then meanwhile, gold is going up. The reason gold is going up is a common thing because they're printing trillions of dollars. You cannot have both going at the same time. I hope I'm wrong. The US dollar is dead. It's got about five more years. Don't get me wrong. It's still a strong currency, but gold will get stronger. So will silver. So will get, so will Bitcoin. Because of this here is the school teachers, our governments, the treasury, Wall Street, and the banking system, the Federal Reserve Bank are ripping us off. In my opinion, the biggest news of all last few months was that Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, dumped bank stocks and he dumped airline stocks and he got into Barrick Gold. Let's talk about Berkshire Hathaway's bet on gold in a move antithetical to Warren Buffett's criticism of the magical metal. There's no way this was Warren Buffett himself buying, right? There's no way. At the conventional wisdom and, and folks I talk to that are more familiar with, with Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway than I am all say that this is not likely something that Buffett put into play himself. In other words, he shifted into gold mining and he and his buddy Peter, I mean, uh, Munger, have badmouthed gold forever. Uh, they own some silver, but they badmouth gold forever. And so that is the biggest news of all, because it says something is really fundamentally changed in America. I mean, foundational. If he's dumping airline stocks, he's dumping bank stocks. The question is, what does that mean? CNBC and the other CNBS, as they call it, they don't cover it. Nobody covers it. And this is bigger. You know, I mean, Trump or Biden, it's important. But Buffett going into Barrick Gold is a thousand times bigger news to all of us because Trump or Biden have no possible power. They cannot stop what's about to happen. So let me say it again. The biggest news of all is not Trump or Biden or COVID. It's Warren Buffett dumping bank stocks. Can you imagine that? And dumping airline stocks and then buying Barrick Gold. We, we don't know what else he's bought. And the question is, what does that really mean? Right in front of our eyes right now, we can see capitalism, socialism, and communism. That's what I'm concerned about. The average person without financial education from our schools so we're shifting to communism right now, central control of the economy. There'll be an IMF bailout, International Monetary Fund. When the IMF stands, steps in to save you, like it did for Greece and Brazil and all that, IMF stands for I'm fucked. That's what it means. So when the IMF steps in to save America, just say to yourself, oh, I'm fucked. That's what it means. The monetary system has been blown apart so bad that a foreign government, I mean, the comes in and they, they're gonna start giving us more fake money called SDRs, special drawing rights. I don't know what they are. So that's that's the future. So that's why I said, won't free money destroy the USA? And says, yes, destroy the world. So what should I do? I always say, gold, silver, God's money, Bitcoin, people's money. You wanna get outside this corrupt system. Bitcoin is open source. That means the central banks can't mess with it. You know, gold and silver are God's money. They can't, well, they can try, but they can't make any more of it. So what happened is with these fake financial planners, God, they're terrible people. They tell you to invest in the long term in the stock market. And look at this chart here. This is the Dow. It's at an all time high. Why would you invest in the stock market? You know, the Fed, which is a criminal operation because they, they only protect the banks. The stock market is an all time high. Would you want to get in now? No. <laughs> and that's the thing. That's I think that's why you were saying this, it's so important to buy right now because it's low too. Yeah. Look at housing. I always complain, oh, I can't afford a house. Well, wait till it crashes. Then you buy a house, right? You know, so in 2008, after it crashes, that's when I bought real estate. Mm -hmm. So right now, look at, look at the stock market, all-time high. Real estate's at all-time yeah. high. Your phony education is an all-time right. high. Everything look at medical high. costs at all-time high. These phony, fake financial planners are telling you to invest for the long term when the market's at all time high. And what blew it into the bubble was the Fed. Mm -hmm. The Fed kept printing money, it just kept blowing it in this bubble. So meanwhile, little silver, it's $15 on this chart here. It used to be as high as 50. $15 is a joke. This is not an investment. Let me, I'll show you a little about this. Mm -hmm. I predict, and I, my predictions are often wrong, that if you buy silver today at 15, in 10 years, it'll be worth 100 because they keep burning it up, they keep yeah. demanding it. 
So would you rather save the dollar, which is going down, or save silver, which is going up? Yeah. <laughs> can you afford $15? I can afford, and that's why I think it's a perfect opportunity for millennials especially, who complain living paycheck to paycheck. You set aside a couple 15 bucks, <laughs> and then you'll be set. Did you enjoy the video? Please let us know by smashing the like button and commenting what part of this video you find helpful. While you're still here, you can also check out these videos of Robert Kiyosaki. Thanks for watching and remember to keep this investing tips a secret.